value is defined as the two times the probability of the z bigger than the test statistic. If you compare this result to this one, so I have this one, which is the this, this, and this is the same. So basically, I will have the probability for the z bigger than this one, alpha by, divided by two, okay, so this one plus this one, or the two time of this one is equal to what? Alpha, right? Because that this one and this one is the same. So basically, I have two times this guy is equal to alpha. If you compare this one to this one, so basically it's what? It will be exactly the same that if you have to have the test statistics, is equal to critical value, right? When that, that become the really is overlap. The test statistics is exactly the, just the same point as the critical value, then the probability will be the same. So this is actually is what? Is the, the one that is what uh, we need, okay, so the p-value. So uh, you will actually now, based on the p-value, you'll be able to somehow make a conclusion. Whenever the p-value bigger than the alpha, which is that whenever you have a p-value bigger than alpha, which is the, this one, okay, this is the p-value, when and this could be the alpha, okay, so basically this part actually is maybe the corresponding to the alpha divided by two. So whenever you actually have the p-value, okay, which is that uh, the bigger than the alpha, so then of course we could have, we, we, we definitely will have the z statistic to what? Uh, to more close to the center, okay, which is the smaller than the critical value. Okay, so this is the only case that we can have the p-value bigger than the alpha. When the p-value is smaller than alpha, it means that the test study is what? It's too far. It's the bigger than the critical value. So this is again is so, uh, one of the key things, okay, so uh, how you make the decision. But no matter what, if you take uh, the critical value, compare the result, the decision, okay, so uh, to the p-value approach, that will be exactly the same result. Okay, so basically the intent or the conclusion this will be the exactly the same. When you not reject in the using the critical value approach, they also not reject using the p value approach. Okay. So uh, you see is that now the critical value actually is have two components, right? This indicates the simple distribution. This indicates that uh, uh, the assumption that the significant level. So basically, so if you actually using the this one critical value as the approach compared to the test statistics that you have one decision. If you actually focus it on the assumption within the critical value is this alpha, okay, this one, you will actually uh, compare the result to the p-value. Okay, so basically this is the uh, the things that I would like to somehow really tell you okay, what exactly going on for the p-value. So uh, if you back to here, 